Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue discussing the trigonometric functions. And here in this part, we are going to encounter a different condition. And before we proceed to that conditions, we need to take note of this thing. If theta is any angle in the unit circle, the values of each trigonometric function in each quadrant are the following. Look at here the graph, as you can see, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. For quadrant one, it's very obvious. All of the trigonometric functions are positive. Sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent are positive in value. And for quadrant two, the only positive values are the, are the function sine and cosecant. And for quadrant three, the only positive value for the functions are tangent and cotangent. And for quadrant four, the only positive value are the functions cosine and second. Yes, you need to familiarize these things. Just remember that in quadrant one, all functions are positive. In quadrant two, the only positive are sine and cosecant. And in quadrant three, the only positive are tangent and cotangent. And lastly, in quadrant four, the only positive are cosine and second. This is very important because it is very applicable in how are we going to determine the six or the other trigonometric functions given one function. Here we go for the first example. Find the exact values of the other trigonometric function given that sine theta is equal to three over five, where tangent theta is less than zero. When we say less than zero, then our tangent theta is negative. Now you already have the guide, like sine theta is positive, then tangent theta is negative. Then we locate them in quadrant two. Since the given sine theta value is a positive value and tangent theta is negative value, then tangent then theta lies in quadrant two, which has a negative positive for its coordinates, neg negative for x and positive for y. Okay, look at here. On the right side, we have sine, which is positive, and we have tangent, who is negative, and no other quadrant will suffice the condition whose value of our sine is positive and value of tangent theta is negative. That's only in quadrant two. So for the definition of sine theta, which is equal to y over r, or just equal to y, and r is equal to one, therefore our y is equal to three over five. And how about for our x? We need to solve for the value of x. To solve for x, we use Pythagorean theorem. And so, uh, as we use Pythagorean theorem, we substitute the value of our r, which is one, and the value of our y, which is three over five. Therefore, x squared is equal to one squared for r value minus the quantity of three over five squared that's for the y value inside. And we manipulate them. X squared is equal to one minus nine over 25 because three squared is nine for the numerator. Five squared is 25 and that's for our denominator. 
1 minus 9 over 25, that's equal to 16 over 25. Mm -hmm. Or you can simply change 1 into 25 over 25. Therefore, 25 minus 9, that is 16. And for the denominator, copy 25. And since it is x squared here on the left side, we need to solve for we need to solve for x alone. Therefore, we square root both sides. And since we square root both sides, so the remaining value here on the left side, we have x is equal to the square root of 16 over 25, that is 4 over 5. Since 16 for the numerator is a perfect square, and 25 in the denominator is also a perfect square. And therefore, x is equal to negative 4 over 5. The coordinates of theta is negative 4 over 5 and 3 over 5. If you are wondering, sir, how did you determine that the value of x is negative 4 over 5? Again, it's located in quadrant 2, and our cosine is negative. That's why it should be negative 4 over 5. That's for the value of x, right? Since sine is our y, then cos cosine will be the x, which is negative 4 over 5. And that's how we solve for the coordinates. Let's proceed in uh, solving or finding the other functions. Since we found already that cosine theta is equal to negative 4 over 5, for tangent theta, we substitute our sine over cosine. So that's 3 over 5 all over negative 4 over 5, which is equal to 3 over 5 times the quantity of negative 5 over 4. We follow the division rule of fractions, which is equal to negative 3 over 4 for tangent theta. For cotangent, second and cosecant theta, it will be very easy for us to find that since these three functions are the reciprocal of the of the three function, which is sine, cosine, and tangent. For cotangent, that's the, the reciprocal of tangent theta, since we have negative three over four, therefore its uh, reciprocal is a negative four over three. And for second theta, that's the reciprocal of our cosine theta, which is negative five over four. And for cos second theta, that's the reciprocal of our sine theta. Take note that our sine theta value is three over five. So for the reciprocal of three over five, that's five over three. If we find the reciprocal, we are just going to interchange the numerator and the denominator's position. Let's have another example. Given cosine theta, which is equal to 17 over 18, where sine theta is greater than zero. We already have the guide here in this condition. Sine will be positive and cosine must be positive also. And that is in quadrant one. All, all functions, all the values of the six trigonometric functions in quadrant one are all positive. Since the given cosine theta value is a positive value and sine theta is a positive value, then theta lies in quadrant one. And for the definition of cosine theta, that, that is equal to x over r, or just simply equal to x, because r is equal to one, and our x value is, neg is 17 over 18. And we need to solve for y. To solve for y, again, we use Pythagorean theorem. If you are uh, wondering, like, why are we using Pythagorean theorem? Yes, because it is the most applicable theorem in finding the other variable. Since we are integrating unit circle here, and in unit circle, uh, we 
use the Pythagorean theorem also for solving the other value. So we're, we solve for value, we solve for the value of y, therefore for the formula that's y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. We substitute now the given, we have r which is 1 and our x which is 17 over 18. 1 squared, that is 1. 17 over 18 squared, that is 289 over 324. And 1 minus 289 over 324, that's equal to 35 over 324. And to solve it easily, just simply change 1 to 324 over 324 because that's equal to 1, right? Therefore, 324 minus 289, that's 35 for the numerator. Then copy the denominator, which is 324. Therefore, our y value, as we square it both sides, we have square root of 35 over 18. Therefore, y is equal to square root of 35 over 18. The coordinates of theta is 17 over 18 and square root of 35 over 18. Let's now solve for the other trigonometric functions. Sine theta, from the given we have, uh, from what we solve, we have square root of 35 over 18 and for Tangent theta, that, that is y over x, which is equal to square root of 35 over 18, all over 17 over 18. And that's equal to square root of 35 over 18 times the quantity of 18 over 17, as we follow the rule in dividing fractions, which is equal to square root of 35 over 17. This is already the simplified form. You manipulate it first, uh, numerator multiplied to numerator and denominator multiplied to denominator. And for cotangent, which is the reciprocal of tangent theta, so the reciprocal of this value is 17 over square root of 35. As you can see, our denominator is uh, square root of 35, which means we have a radical symbol in the denominator. We need to rationalize it. Therefore, multiplying square root of 35 over 35 to our value, we get 17 square root of 35 all over 35. And for second theta, which is the reciprocal of our cosine theta from the given, our cosine theta is equal to 17 over 18. So its reciprocal is 18 over 17. And for cosecant theta, that is the reciprocal of our sine theta. Therefore, if we uh, interchange the place of our numerator and denominator, we will get 18 over square root of 35. As you can see, the denominator has a radical sign. We need to rationalize our value, multiplying square root of 35 over square root of 35. And we get 18 square root of 35 over 35. And that's our other function. And these are the other functions. Let's have number three. Second theta is equal to five, where tangent theta is less than zero. Please think where can we locate this uh, theta? from what quadrant, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, or quadrant four. Maybe you are right because our theta is located in quadrant four since our second there is positive and our tangent is neg negative. No other quadrant will suffice the given condition. We know from the definition that second theta is reciprocal of cosine theta. Therefore, cosine theta is equal to x. 
and we have it there five for second and there was a call of sec of our second is the call second uh, is, is the cosine not the cosecond. second again the reciprocal of our second is the cosine which is equal to x and that's equal to one over five where r is equal to one and x is equal to one over five and we are looking for the value of y. And how are we going to solve for that? Using again, Pythagorean theorem. Y squared is equal to R squared minus X squared. Then we substitute the values given R is equal to one and X is equal to one over five. One squared is one, one over five squared is 1 over 25, then 1 minus 1 over 25, that's equal to 24 over 25. Why? Since we are subtracting here uh, a fraction and a whole number, we need to convert, uh, we need to solve first for the LCD. Yes, you can use the process, but the easier way, just simply change 1 to 25 over 25. Therefore, numerator is 25 minus 1, we get 24. Then copy the denominator. So we get 24 over 25. After that, we square both sides in order to find the value of y alone. Therefore, y is equal to 2 square root of 6 all over 5. Therefore, y is equal to negative 2 square root of 6 all over 5. The coordinates of theta is one fifth or one over five and negative two square root of six over five. Okay, we're ready to go in solving for the other trigonometric functions. For the sine theta, we have negative two square root of six over five. And for the cosine theta, that's the reciprocal of our second from the given. Therefore, the reciprocal of our second, that's one over five. For tangent, that is y over x, which is equal to negative 2 square root of 6 over 5 all over 1 fifth. And that's equal to negative 2 square root of 6 all over 5 times the quantity of 5 over 1. And that's equal to negative 2 square root of, square root of 6 for the tangent. How about for the cotangent theta? That's the reciprocal of our tangent theta. The reciprocal of negative 2 square root of 6, that's negative 1 over 2 square root of 6. We rationalize it since our denominator has a radical form. And that is equal to negative square root of 6 over 12 for the cotangent theta. For our cosecant theta, the reciprocal of our sine theta, that's negative five over two square root of six. Then we rationalize it because the denominator again, as you can see there, there is a radical symbol. If you're asking, sir, why aren't we including two? Because two is a whole number. All we need to eradicate here is the radical symbol, which is square root of six, right? So only square root of six, do not include two. So we, we multiply our given by square root of six over square root of six, and that is equal to negative five square root of six all over 12 for the cosecant theta. And that is, and this uh, given here, this is how we solve for the other functions. Now it's your turn to solve for this given. Sine theta is equal to negative three over seven, where second theta is less than zero. I'll give you five minutes to answer. Let me show you now the solutions. Here is the solution. 
our theta is located or lies in quadrant three. And to solve for x, our x value is two square root of 10. Therefore, the coordinates of our theta is negative three over seven and negative two square root of 10 over seven. And in solving the, the other trigonometric functions, it was shown here. So these are the solution and I hope you get the same answer. Thank you so much for listening and learning with me. Have a good day, everyone.